Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Um, today's video is my unboxing of my Birch Box for July. So they've got their deliveries, I think, back on track now. So we will be getting them from no normal time now, I think. The June one got delivered quite late for me um, and then the July one came on time. So within a week I had both of them. Um, but yeah, to be honest though, I wasn't that fussed about waiting. Um, completely understand why we had to wait. I think it's a good job that they still managed to fill everyone's boxes. You know what I mean? So things seem to be like getting a bit more back to normal now. So this is the July box. A very cute box actually, it looks very fruity, just like me. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> Cringe. Um, hi. <laughs> I've worn a pink lip today, I never really wear a pink lip. Um, but I just felt like fruity summery vibes, so I'll just get a big pink lip out. This is the booklet, it's called Fruity Beauty. Let's have a look inside. Um, I love Birchbox to be fair. I do really like Birchbox. Okay, the first thing, oh yes. The first thing we got to pick, it's a Dr. Pawpaw balm. Um, this is 10 mil. We got to pick between two shades, either this one, which is called Rich Mocha, or one that was hot pink. Because I don't really wear pink that much, um, I picked Hot Mocha. I felt like I would wear that a lot more rather than a bright pink balm. Because with a balm you want to slather it on everywhere. If it's bright pink it's going to be really noticeable. Um, let's squeeze a bit of this out. Um, I have had um, the original one before. Oh wow, that is quite brown, isn't it? Jeez. Um, let's put a bit more on. I have had the original, I think. I've definitely had one of them. I think the original. I can't really remember what I thought of it. Doesn't really smell like anything. Oh, it blends out a lot. <laughs> That's good. I mean, it is a balm, so you'd expect that, wouldn't you? But I feel like I'd feel comfortable there, just like slathering it all over my lips. Um, I did go to Home Bargains today, though, and saw bigger ones of these selling for 2 49 <laughs> this is in batch box. Um uh 25 mil of this are a piece for 6.95, which it does, but we get 10 mil. Um and the 25 mils were selling for 2.49 in home bargains if you're interested. Um so yeah, but what is what actually is this? A multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pore pore for lips, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. Fragrance free. Cruelty free and vegan, that's good. So yeah, a nice thing to have. Not necessarily super exciting, um, but nice that we got to pick which color we wanted. So um, there we go, a little Dr. Paw Paw there. Lovely. Um, shall I read what it says in here? Um, thanks for its natural paw paw. It's just as hydrating as the clear balm. But this one adds a pretty pop of colour to cheeks and lips. I won't be putting it on my cheeks. Cool. If you love a natural look, then apply sparingly. Okay. Pretty standard. Okay. The next thing is... First looking at this, it looks like one of those, like, fruity lip glosses you would get when you, like, became a teenager or something and you were, like, getting into makeup. Um, but it's not a lip gloss. It's actually a primer. This is by Ciarte. Um, I like CRT as a brand. Uh, Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. It looks really cool. It's pink, but it's got these like blue or black or purple like dots all in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Maybe if I... Oh no, <laughs> can't see that side. Like these balls like floating in it. Oh, it looks so cool. I wonder if they like burst on the skin or... Wow, it does really smell like watermelon. I actually love the scent of watermelon. Oh gosh. It's so weird to me that this is a primer. Doesn't feel sticky at all. Smells lovely. 
we'll definitely give it a go. I wonder how much your makeup will actually stay. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely give it a go. This is quite cool. I have oily skin, however, um, I tend to, if I'm like going out working for the day, I tend to like use a mattifying primer kind of down the middle of my face and then more like hydrating or glowy ones on my cheeks. However, because I'm not really spending the day anywhere, when I do put makeup on at the moment, I use any primer that I want just to like use them up. So yeah, this will be cool. A full size of this RRP is for £24 and we get here, how many mil do we get of you? We get 10 mil here. This is cruelty free and vegan as well, very nice. Um, what does it say? It grips foundation. Hmm, okay. It doesn't feel sticky, but it feels a bit um grippy. We'll see how we'll see how that goes. Um for long wear and added glow with witch hazel extract, niacinamide, which I've learnt now from Caroline Hirons, helps with uh blemishes and scarring and spots. Um vitamin E and hyaluronic acid this primer helps to brighten and refine pores while the watermelon extract droplets that must be maybe the little balls combat dehydration lovely plus the water-based and vegan formula smooth skin without the use of silicone lovely cool i'm quite excited to try that i will admit the next thing is by polar i like polar as a brand i've only ever had it from birchbox though and um, this is their sun protection, very high protection, uh, 50 plus UVA and UVB. There is 20 mil here. Um, I don't know if this is for your face as well or just your body. Um, invisible formula applied generously before exposure. It doesn't say, because it doesn't say I probably wouldn't use it on my face. Um, we've had one of their um, sun lotions before that was for face and body. And I really, really liked it. Um, the thing with this, like being so small and being for your body, would this even do my body at all? Maybe one application on like my, I'm just thinking your arms, your chest, your legs. I don't know. It's not the biggest, is it? 20 mil. I guess you can try it. Um, but yeah, a full size RP is for 20 pounds and 20 pence. I wish that they would say, how big the full size is at least if they're giving you the price for the full size tell us how big a full size is because then we can kind of compare how much this would cost how much this would be um we love a multitasker especially during the summer velvety formula offers high uva and uvb protection fighting sunburn and premature aging water resistant light and non-greasy it spreads easily and is suitable for sensitive and sunburn prone skin. Cool. Uh, the sun fluid is formulated without perfume to ensure good tolerance by all skin types. Very thoughtful. Okay, so a sun lotion. I feel like I don't really have much to say about that. Um, but yeah, okay. Good for July, I guess. Because it gets hot in July. Uh, the next thing is by Beauty Pro and it's one of their sheet masks. I like a good sheet mask, I say, but I can't remember the last time I actually used one. I feel like I just collect them from boxes and stuff and then don't really use them that much. But hey, it's coconut, so I'm probably not gonna want to use this to be honest. Yeah, coconut, mushroom and red al, I can't, I don't know how to say this word, algae, algae algae I don't know. powerful skin nourishment anti-aging formula biodegradable bamboo sheet mask love that it's biodegradable this is the plant-based range put it on for 15 minutes travel with me water free 100 percent plant origin okay cool that is what the packaging looks like this is this rp is for 4.95 apparently uh, say hello to calm, nourished skin with this luxurious coconut oil infused sheet mask. With vitamin E and essential amino acids, this mask will help lock moisture into the skin for a fresh, dewy glow. 
Uh, did you know coconut oil has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory benefits and helps repair the skin's natural barrier? I didn't know that. Um, I am a bit funny with coconut. Um, I don't I don't know what it is about coconut. Even like eating coconut, I might be like, okay, yeah, I'll eat some, but I don't really know if I enjoy it that much. Um, and the smell of it, I don't know. Like, I don't mind using coconut hair care, but I will not, I don't think I would ever use a coconut body wash or a coconut body butter. I'm just not the biggest fan. Um, so I'm probably not going to use this and I'll probably put this in my giveaway. So yeah, I know Emma Latham loves coconut. I don't. But yeah, okay. A face mask, that's nice. And then the last thing is by Clorane. We had one of their shampoos before and it was like a minty one and it was amazing. I really, really liked using it. I haven't even looked to buy the full size but I really liked using it. This is a nourishing shampoo with mango butter. Oh, for dry hair. We get 25 mil here. It's probably gonna do my hair once, maybe twice, I doubt it, but you know. Um, mango, oh, I do love the smell of mango. Let's give this a little sniff. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Um, a full size R piece for eight pounds. I like to look at the pictures close up because when it says how much the full size is, sometimes you can read on the picture how big the full size is can't tell um but this is 25 mil this mango infused shampoo nourishes and protects the hair shaft oh dear okay i wasn't expecting to read that word can we can we just say it protects the hair without weighing it down the detangling formula helps to improve softness and shine not to mention its gorgeous fruity smell Free from parabens and silicones, silicones, silicones. I don't know how to say anything, obviously. To keep your strands feeling healthy, guess what? Chlorine's hair care solutions use pure plant extracts. No wonder it's the number one hair care brand in European pharmacies. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah. So, before I recap, let's have a look at the sneak peek for August. Pick your real her makeup treat. Okay, so we get to pick, I've never heard of real her before, have you? Let me know if you have. We get to pick between incredible bronzer or goddess highlighter. From this picture, the highlighter looks quite golden and I don't really like golden highlighters, so I would go for the bronzer. But um, that is the picture there. What would you go for? What would you pick? Let me know. Just to recap what we got, so we've got a lovely mango shampoo, which I'm definitely excited to use. The watermelon primer, I am definitely excited to use. The Dr. Pawpaw balm, I will use, I will try it out, because I've forgotten what the Pawpaw balm is like. Um, it reminds me of two Australian friends that I have. Oh my God, are they from Australia or New Zealand? Oh my God, I think they're from Australia. I'm sure they're from Australia. No, I feel like an awful friend. And they said that like everyone uses Dr. Pawpaw and they love it. Um, so yeah, I'll use that. I'm not necessarily excited about it. Same with the sun lotion. I will use it, but again, not necessarily excited about it. Um, I feel like with brand branded sun lotion, I don't know. I'm more likely to just go and buy like one from the supermarket or something or um, that P21. Is that what it's called? Um, but... I'll use it and then the coconut sheet mask which I'm gonna put in my giveaway but like I'm sure lots of people like coconut and, and I like sheet masks so that's not necessarily a bad thing it's just me being a bit fussy with my smells <laughs> um but yeah these are the products I think it's quite a good box to be fair for 12 95 like we've got a few things there to try anyway and yeah that is my unboxing for July um let me know down below what you think of this month's box and the products inside if you get birch box 
um let me know if you've got anything different to what i've got i would love to know if you've tried any of these products before let me know what you thought of them um i love it when i try things and like someone else has basically the exact same opinion as me um it proves that i'm not the only one <laughs> um but yeah thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed um i love with birchbox that we fill out like a profile and and they pick things to try and match your profile not just like your skin color um and your hair type and things like that but just um whether like you follow trends and that kind of stuff as well goes into your profile um so everyone tends to get different things based on their profile which i think is quite cool so when you watch one unboxing someone else might have some different products so um i do like watching multiple people's birch box videos um sussex sandra she gets a box and then her daughter also gets a box as well and she compares them which i think is a very good idea um but you know i don't have a daughter to compare mine to so i just compare mine to other youtubers ones <laughs> um anyway thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one, which will be uh, my Feel Unique Pick-A-Mix samples because I picked some more. Um, thank you and I'll see you then.